Hey, pretty lady, how you doing? Hey, what's up, guys? Seriously, it's it's Stab. Um, it, happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody. It's probably going up today as a very late upload, and I don't really care. There's about five of you are going to watch the video anyway, so to the five of you, thank you for watching. I really do love you. Like, you have no idea. Um, what I want to talk about this game, and I use this game in, for a specific reason, not because we're playing bots, and I was hoping that somebody in the Gears community wouldn't have noticed... Uh, God, please don't call me out for being a bot slayer, please. I, sometimes the Gears matchmaking is kind of fucked up, and it puts you in lobbies with just random bots. Hey guys, and it doesn't put you in a group of people. Gorilla, I'll save you! Uh, so we decided to troll the bots, I guess you would say. I'm not really sure how you could troll a computer, but we did. And for the most part, except for Psycho breaking the rule there a couple times, he actually breaks the rule. I break it once or twice. But the rule is to pretty much use this game as um, rifles of war, because a lot of people in the Gears community seem to think that like when people say, "I fucking hate the retro lancer and the sawed off, it's fucking useless," and I, I, while I agree, I think it's pretty stupid that they're in the game. Um, I don't think everybody sounds like that. People will always come back with, "This isn't Nashers of War, guys. This isn't. Nobody just wants to run around with Nashers," and I agree. Don't run around with Nashers if you don't want to run around with Nashers. I'm not saying make this game 100% Nasher fights, but I do hate the Retro Lantern Sawed Off. I just do. Um, the the Sawed Off's not really that big of a problem. It's more of just an annoyance when you get killed by it. It's like, really? Like, why, why do you use that? It's not useful in any way. And most of the time they die anyway to me before I can kill them. And, like, the times that they kill me is because they're camping in the corner and they probably would have got me with a Nasher anyway. And before I keep contradicting myself, it's just kind of like that thing. And that Savage Cantus just fucked me up, son. He just, ooh, got beasted. Your boy got beasted up on that by that bot. But you see, notice he was using a Nasher. Nasher. Now, I just think that the, uh, the sawed off is kind of lame. But the Retro Lancer is starting to piss me off. So, especially since uh, I've pretty much dropped playing King of the Hill because Bernie is, you know, like, I freaking hate King of the Hill, stab. And, uh, and Bernie doesn't sound damn thing like that as I hump and curbs on his bot. But Bernie's like, I hate King of the Hill. I mean, I hate TDM. It's just find a spot and camp it. And for the most part, he's right. It is it is pretty campy. It is pretty annoying sometimes. Uh, but, like I was saying, we're pretty much just using Lancers, uh, or not Lancers, but Rifles of War over here. And uh, I'm going to curb stomp this bot too. I'm trying to get my uh, Onyx medal for curb stomps. Uh, what we're doing is hip firing, if you couldn't tell. Our rifles, and that's all we're doing is hip firing. I do bust out a boom shot double later on in the game because I want to get some kills. And Psycho, every once in a while, uses his Nasher. But other than that, it pretty much stayed true. Uh, the guys with the Lancers had an easier job because their clips were so long, and I had a harder time. So I was trying to steal any kill I could get as Psycho just, you know, goes on a fucking tear with the, his Nasher. He should have been using a Lancer. Uh, but yeah, I thought it was pretty fun, and that's something that kind of brings into a segue as we get about halfway through this game. Uh, basically, can you guys, do you guys remember when you had fun playing a game and you didn't rage? Like honestly, for those for those old enough that play video games, do you remember a time where you played video games and you didn't get mad at it one time? I, I mean, you might have got mad at a boss fight or something, but I mean, like you didn't full-out rage like you see on videos on YouTube nowadays you didn't you know break a controller because some dude killed you in multiplayer like in retrospect I mean I rage a lot when I play this game I rage a lot and I'm not perfect by any means and I know my friends that hate it and it's annoying but it's a way to vent out frustration but I don't ever remember getting that frustrated you know a few years ago when I was younger I remember playing games for fun and having fun and just you know that's the only thing that mattered. Um, maybe it's the competitive multiplayer aspect, the trash talking, the uh, the anonymity of people who think they're all badass and they, you know, they talk shit to you. Maybe that that just gets under your skin and the psychology of it. I don't know because I'm not a psychologist, although I do find the human mind pretty interesting. But I remember playing like I guess it was just single player games for the most part and just having fun. You'd play them for hours on end. And sometimes like on a weekend or something and you'd have fun that's that's your main goal so with this game we were bored because it kept putting us up against bots or people just kept backing out because they were getting too frustrated 
uh, or in, you know rage quitting. I don't understand rage quitting at all. I don't ever quit a game. Almost, like, even if it's laggy as shit, I'll complain about it and I'll leave after the game. But I never ever just like, oh, that dude chainsawed me or retrocharged me or sawed off to me from you know 40 feet away. I'm never gonna quit. Um, the only times I would ever quit is like if it was a hacked lobby and cod. You know, I, I've quit a couple of those. Like. Um, back in the day when you had those endless domination games where people had like 500 kills. Obviously you're going to quit that. Um, but in a regular game, I may get frustrated, but I'll never rage quit. And so we were tired of getting people rage quitting. We were tired of matchmaking not working in Gears. And I understand that there's not that many people playing it, so it's harder for the game to find us players. But there's no need to rage quit as this dude wall bounces and takes out my team and then gorilla just lancer spray bitch and then joe i think i think joe might have stolen his kill so this game we were just you know having fun trying to you know lighten up the mood i think we were all telling jokes and stuff and most of the time like when we play games it's not too serious i think bernie's gonna be uploading a video on the forum channel where joe gets a little serious and right there i, I cheated because i didn't hit fire but i knew he was a player and I, there's no way i was gonna risk dying so I just, I just guess I've rambled on and I have no point anymore, as most of my commentaries seem to go. But I was just wondering, you know, do you guys, what do you guys do? Like, do you, do you still play games for fun or is it mostly competitive? Do you play it to get a sense of accomplishment through a competitive scene, like multiplayer or something like that? Um, and do you get frustrated a lot? Do you quit? Like, what? When you get frustrated, what happens? And right here pissed me off because I kept trying to execute him, but it kept telling me. No, Joe's down. I, I know Joe was down. He was down behind me. I figured this. I watched him go down. But yeah, I just... I don't know. This was just a just a way... You can see there's people in it now, but this is this was just a way for us, as the worst player ever leaves, this was just a way for us to, you know, have a little fun with the game, not take it seriously, and do our own thing. And I think that a lot of gamers seem to be missing out on that. Uh, they're, they're not playing games for fun anymore. They're playing games, you know, to talk shit and get all riled up on it. I mean, have you guys ever listened to yourself when you rage? Like, have you ever taken a step back and just thought, wow, I must sound like a fucking idiot right now. Like, it's just... I mean, I've listened to myself back, you know. I, I've heard myself in some of girls' commentaries, and it's not pretty. It's not cool. I don't like it. I'm not proud of it. But, you know, I'm working on it, I'm, and I'm playing games for fun right now, so that's my main goal. I'm trying not to rage. What about you guys? Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Peace. Love you all. Bye. Hey, guys. In case you've made it this far, on the left is my last video I did. It's called Bernie and the Bunnies, and it's actually pretty funny. And on the right is a random video. I don't even know what it's going to be yet, so click on it and find out. Peace.